All right, I'm installing the software update uh, for CarPlay on a 2018 Camry. And on this uh, 4 GB USB 2.0 drive, I've got the two files that uh, um, that's for this Pioneer unit. It's the uh, base unit. Um, so just, uh, I found these files thanks to a link that was posted on toyotanation.com in one of the posts. Um, so I'm gonna, I for, clean formatted, slow formatted the drive, and then I've got those two files copied in the main directory. So what you do uh, apparently is go to uh, menu, setup, and uh, actually you go up journal, scroll down, and software update, see what that does. Now I'm supposed to insert this USB drive here, and let's see what happens. There you go, it says new software was found. And then, by the way, I tried this on a more fancy new USB drive and it did not come here. It was, uh, didn't recognize it, so it needs an old fashioned USB 2.0 drive. That's less than, uh, I don't know, 32 GB. This one is just a four GB and I hope it'll do the job. There you go. It's gonna add uh, CarPlay, Alexa, and some bug fixes. Let's say, okay, agree. Would you like to start start the update? Yes. All right. So do not turn off the engine. The engine is running and supposedly takes 15 minutes according to the bulletin, Toyota service bulletins. See what happens. Um, the dealership said this would take four hours or I would have to wait four hours to do this and that I would drop off the car and all that stuff. And I told them, hey, it should be a quick job, guys. And uh, the service advisor was like, oh, no, I know about that one. It's not an easy one, blah, blah, blah. I mean, he was a nice guy, but still, um, maybe that was his experience. I hope mine goes through a lot faster. So I'm gonna let this go through and yeah this is the kind of thing that is easy but you know you could be unlucky you could have a bug in the install that you know screws up the head unit and then you're looking at a lot of money so and this car doesn't have the warranty anymore the, it's past the three year mark so you just cross your fingers Ideally, you want to do all the service at the dealer just so, you know, they own it, etc. But I don't trust them, guys. I can trust, I trust them just as much as I, as I trust uh, unknown local guy in the corner of the street. All right. All right, I'm gonna turn off the engine and then turn it right back on. All right, almost to the end here. Have the AC going on. Um, one thing to keep in mind is a lot of people are complaining about USB drives getting too hot and the update failing, but uh, fortunately today is a uh, decent day outside 66 degrees obviously if you're doing this in um, 100 degree heat keep that in mind because the outside ambient will affect what how hot the USB goes um, so keep that in mind to getting into the next phase of the software install. Apparently this um, doesn't take all that long. Just as long as the previous one. But, uh, see what happens. Almost there. I've got the AC all the way down low. 
it's freezing in here but computer parts like cold temperatures because you know they have internal thermal shutdowns even on a small USB that chip controlling all that stuff it's thermally regulated so if it gets too hot it's gonna turn it off right so just keep that in mind outside ambient is important so if you've got a cold or a hot or super hot 100 degree Texas day then roll up all your windows turn down the AC and then do this because uh, you don't want that USB uh, thermally regulating and turning off in the middle of this All right, on to the next phase. It says keep the media inserted and do not turn off the engine. That bar is slowly moving. Obviously this one takes a lot longer than the manual says, or the service bulletin says it's going to. The service bulletin says that after this step is done and the software reboots and the home screen comes off, Turn off the ignition for 60 seconds at least before proceeding. I'm gonna guess that has to do with uh, the components too hot in there. So they want it to completely cool down before you run the software again. That's what I think the 60, degree, 60 seconds is for. Or it might be to uh, uh, power cycle the unit fully. Could be that. Almost done. See what happens. Should reboot automatically. There you go. And then when the home screen appears, I'm supposed to take a chill pill by turning off the engine. Let's wait for the home screen. Okay, it's sat for more than a minute. I'm gonna turn it back on now. All right, 